today we are discussing some of an important topics in the ktu syllabus if you goes through our previous year question papers there are two and three times they are asking the same question for comparison between three phase and single phase supply or what is the advantage of three phase supply over a single phase supply like so you just concentrate so the important points are here i am comparing the single phase and three phase so this is for the single phase and this is for the three phase the first point for a single phase system the power supply through one conductor means only a one phase but here there are three conductors means there are three phase conductors so here it is one con one phase and this is three phase it require there are two wire for completing the circuits they are one phase wire and another one is a neutral wire so phase is a one wire neutral is a, the same wire so total wire is two so it require there are two wire for completing the circuit but in the case of a three phase system total four wires are required one is r y b and n these r y b are the three phase and one is a neutral so the total four wires are required so this is the representation of a single phase supply only a single single wave but here there are three supply one is r y b r y b and so on so this is the representation of a three phase supply and this is the representation of a single phase supply in normally in normally a single phase supply carries a 230 volt 50 hertz is the rating but in the case of a three phase supply the rating is 415 volt 50 hertz is the rating and another point is the power transfer capability is minimum for a single phase supply but compared with the three phase system the power transfer capability is very maximum so important point here the power transfer capability is minimum here it is maximum and next one is an efficiency for a single phase it is less efficiency and the three phase system is a high efficiency and economically less for a single the production of single phase supply only a single conductor is required so the economically it is less but in the three phase system we we need there are three conductors so the economically it is more used for the home appliance we can use the tv mixer some small motors like so used for the home appliance here it is for the large industries or it's a running with a heavy load applications and it's a, another points it's related to the machines a single phase motors are not self starting motors but a three phase motors are a self starting motors so these are the main points the first point for a single phase system only a one phase conductors here it is three phase conductors so total number of wire is actually we can use a shortcut of n plus 1 for example for a single phase supply n is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so the number of conductor is 2 here it is three phase means 3 plus 1 is a 4 4 wire so we can use a shortcut of n plus 1 wire okay n is the present of phase so it is requires there are two conductors here there are four conductors the representation is a single a sine wave here there are three sine waves normally the rating of a single phase supply is 230 volt 50 hertz here it is 415 volt 50 hertz the power transfer capability is minimum here it is maximum efficiency is less here it is efficiency is maximum economically less economically more used for the home appliance it's for a large industries or running with a heavy loads the motors are not self starting motors here it is self starting motors thank you